Hello, everybody. It is currently... Uh... Thursday, the day of Thurs. <clears throat> We're playing Puyo Puyo Sun 64. Also, Deuces, thank you for gifting a sub to Tygon. <clears throat> so, I need to practice here. Um, so I learned... A strat. See how... So, see how I have three, um... So, see how I have three yellows on the bottom? I messed up. You're thirsty for some coffee? Well. Any sippers? Okay, shoot, I messed up actually. This is why I need to practice. <clears throat> so, what I want is three of the same color in the bottom. Like this, and three of a different color on top of that. This is perfect with the yellow on top of that. So now, now if I make a combo out of those blue pieces, then uh, that triggers my chain. The blues will fall, which will cause that yellow to drop onto the three yellows I already laid. Makes sense. Then you want a different color on top of that. This works great. <clears throat> now green is my trigger. If I activate the green, the blue falls, which causes the yellow to fall, so we have a three chain. Where we do that and mess up. This is why this is why I need practice. Looks really easy when the guy did it in the video. Harder. They made it look so easy. Yeah. 
Yeah, so now if I do this... Oh, but I needed a blue one to drop there. Shoot. No, that's not it. I think I need a different color. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, I think I need to now cover this with a different color. Dr. Mario 64 all over again. Uh, soup for my fam. Thank you for the eight month resub. I appreciate it. So like this, I think this works. Yeah, see what I mean? That I need that type of pattern. It's it's hard, but so this is going really fast. Let's try it. Of course, we'll watch the cutscenes again. Quack, thank you for the host and the raid. <clears throat> I appreciate it. Oh shoot, they dropped a thing on me. Maybe that tutorial I watched, I didn't learn anything. I watched them do it and it looked really easy. I uh, hope you had a good stream. I'm winning because this is the first battle. They're not very good. Hi. Peggle roguelike game. The suns are helpful, but. Oh, honey. The suns are better than the blobs, but they're still harmful. Oh, 
don't like coffee now, but I like the boost. I get a boost. When they're attacking you, you can't do these things they were doing in that video. I can't do like the strats they're talking about. Hi, honey. I don't have time. What the heck, dude? <sighs> Man, I literally, I can't. I suck at this game. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Oh, 
I thought that... Oh, that was bad. Beautiful. I have a video on how to build a five chain. Bye, honey. The issue is they're attacking me. They, they ruin all the plans I make. Right, right now, he's doing it. I had big plans. Oh, that was accidental, but I'll take it. Story? The story's out of control. <laughs> These characters are hilarious. Yeah, if you have a guide that's like... Ooh, here we go. Easy-ish to follow? I don't know. Like, I, I'm a very beginner. I've watched you play it. I never knew what was going on. Oh my goodness. I thought I was doing pretty well, but... I think the chains are luck if you're good at the game. It would be kind of annoying if, uh... It would be dumb if the game was luck-based. I don't think people would like playing it. It's also, I get overwhelmed when there's a lot of colors. I really get overwhelmed when they do that. See, and it always blocks me. I was about to put it there, and then I just can't. Thank 
んなもんだろ Maybe it's programmed to. Maybe it knows where you would want to go and it always goes there. God, what are these pieces? If I get a red one, shoot! I messed up. Blocked me. No. Oh. oh my god. Let me play my combo. Stages. We got to stage seven yesterday. Uh, there's a grayscale mode for this game. I don't know if that would help. It with just a magic card? Why not? And the video I watched, they just they made it look so easy. Can't do what they did. <laughs> Can you not teach Magic Carp like you get Bubble Beam from Misty? Can you not 
teach it bubble bee. It can't learn any TMs, so. <clears throat> The video I watched was like 12 years old. It said it was part one, and then the guy, the person literally never made a part two. Uh, it was like, so, just talking about making a key, like. Like, so for example, if I put well, you can't see where I'm pointing. If I put three, say, blue in the bottom corner, and then three red on top of that, and then a blue on top of the red, if I activate the red, that's my key to a combo. And then I can put a different color on top of the red with a red on top of that, let's say green, and now when I activate the green, that's my key. Because it drops the red, which drops the blue. And they made it look really easy, but they're also probably really good. I was watching it, I was like, oh, I get this, yeah. I can pull this off. <laughs> now I real- shoot. Oh, it still works, actually. Now I realize, you know what? Maybe they're better than me. That's why they could do it that well. You also, like, you just get attacked! They weren't getting attacked in the video, it was single player. And then I get- I hate when I get blocked, like, what do I do? Keep it up, buddy. If this is your 9 to 5 job, you are living the life. Like, I'm, I'm decent at getting a 2 chain, but that's clearly not good enough to beat this game. I feel like on this difficulty, you need at least a 3 chain. Obviously, the better, bigger chain would be better, but... There's also like a stairs map that I saw, and it looked really hard. It's like you do this. And then like build stairs above it, but I don't know, it was... I got lost. I can like cheese my way up to level 7 by like getting an early 2 combo and then the AI just freaks out, but... Level 7 seemed like that strat no longer worked.
No! God, calm down. Oh my god, this is totally intended! <laughs> I planned that out. You guys thought I sucked, but that was all planned. <laughs> I reset to play the single player mode so that I could practice not having anybody against me. But I don't I don't even know how useful that is cuz like it's so different when somebody's actually here attacking you you get wrecked, you know? It's a way different environment this way. Oh shoot. I don't know, maybe that's the play, just eventually I'll get lucky and get a gigantic chain. <laughs> I feel like that's not a good plan, though. <clears throat> so why block me, man? That's so frustrating. God. Yeah, it gets progressively- each one gets progressively better. There's like five difficulties above this. I can't even imagine. Like, you would have to be a top player, I guess, to beat it. Thankfully, the difficulty was on normal, by default. doing things. Stop! God, it's always- I'm about to go there. And then it's like, no, no you're not. <clears throat> this game's only in Japan. Um, to play it in English like this, you need emulator or an EverDrive. I guess you, in theory, could. Like, I mean, they put the game on the cart somehow, right? I guess you could do that. What is this RNG? That was not a good move. That was a mistake. Oh God, help. I need to get 
yellow. Oh, never mind. Yeah, but if the, I'm saying if you have the Japanese cart, this whole game's in Japanese. Um, to get this in English like I have it now, you have to... Uh, I know I'm not building chains. I'm trying, I'm just not good. My brain can only handle building a two chain. Like, I don't know how to progress to the next. Like, I don't know, it's hard. I shouldn't have done that, actually. But it's okay. It's still okay. Oh, I thought that might be a chain. I thought I was about to get a giant chain there. Hey! <laughs> what, well, do you have the video? If it's on YouTube, you can link it. I think. I don't know. <laughs> no, you can link anything. Twenty-seven minutes. Yeah, I think we will do the hard mode on beginner difficulty, because I, I do want to see the rest of the story. Alright guys, this is Kane's video. I've seen him play, he's very skilled. Hi guys, Kane here and I wanted to make an introductory lesson on uh, Poyo Poyo today. So I'm going to assume you know what Poyo is, but uh, you don't really know how to play. Alright, so the goal of this video is this one here and it's like, um, how do I arrange these so that four Poyos connect? So. Instead of starting in game, Poyo Poyo Tetris, where like the, the pieces just fall and you're under pressure, I'm going to start in Chain Sim. And this is just Poyo Nexus, just Chain Sim. You might be able to just start somewhere else. Doesn't really matter. Um, this is just a drawing board for me, right? It's just a chocolate. Uh, Deuce is thank you so for gifting a sub to Kane. I don't have alerts on this screen. What a functioning chain will look like. So after this, I'm, so I'm going to draw some stuff up. We're going to go over it real quick. And then I'm going to hop over to a separate Poyo simulator. And we're going to actually use both of those in tandem to you know, imagine what our chain's going to look like before we put our pieces down. We're going to put our pieces down and we're going to have a functional five chain. It's going to be really not that complicated. Um, <coughs> and I think the main thing I want to stress here is um, I'm going to be using a form called stairs. And if you're watching this, no, Pretty this much, is, this is React the, content. The I'm method reacting. of learning is just memorize it, All right? So, in math, two plus two is four. You can you can analyze that down the road. It doesn't really matter. You're gonna you're just gonna memorize a few facts, and it's gonna get you to the point where you can make a five chain. And you can analyze those later once you have a little bit of understanding, some groundwork, right? Like, you know, you learn stairs just by memorization and then maybe you try and learn sandwiches and then you can compare the two 
and that's really how you learn. You can't really teach right? reacting so if to I were to try bad to, to PvP a whole bunch like, of concepts because it's going to be different every the framework game. Framework for you to understand the concepts is in there. Like you just need to memorize some facts before you actually go on to try and have a more um, sophisticated understanding of how play works. So, <clears throat> starting this off, we're in Chain Sim. I'm just going to sketch up uh, some basic concepts. And so, again, we're using a form called stairs. So what is a form? A form is just a standardized shape. Um, can you see it? It's like, yep, that's a stair. So, uh, yeah, let me draw this up. All right, so a stair is going to be, um, in this we're using a one three, I'm gonna use a one three stair specifically. So one three, and this is a stair. Uh, a stair has a actuating piece right here and then a fixed component right here. And so when the actuating <coughs> red falls, it now has a four link. All right, so generally in a stairs chain, you'll have multiple stacks of um, you know, your poyos specifically a one three stairs chain so one three um, is gonna look like this you're gonna do this multiple times and if we're going for a five chain I need to run this out one more and so there we go this is just an idealized five uh, you know five chain built with stairs but again the stair is just you know this you know, actuating piece fixed piece and then another thing is you you can have more in here this still works like that's the magic of stairs. you guys but yes right, take like, notes oh no what are we going to do the red is now raised it doesn't matter it still works and it cleans up here because we got lucky that wasn't planned um but yeah stairs that's the form. Now the question is, how do you build the form in an yes, actual match? This is what I and need. I so understand that's kind of where this. the disconnect between um, looking at a form and actually learning a form occurs. Is you know, how do I actually you know, start a match? How do I build it? You know, how do I go about doing this? So to do that, I'm going to hop over to a different screen. Well, this is just one so strat. On There's a lot of ways to play I this game, apparently. Chalkboard. I've got my geo sites, and I've got an image <laughs> of what stairs looks like. So if we're ever like, what stairs look like? Right, oh, right there. That, that is what it looks like. And it doesn't have to look exactly like that, but you know, it's just a reference example. Um, geo sites. It's a very popular game, the, man. Uh, Sim Japan that I'm going to use it's on the internet I'll link it down below uh, but it really doesn't matter I imagine it's less popular Poyo over here even Poyo Tetris but the goal here is to just you know, we can stare at this all day before putting the piece down and then we can uh, which one is undo there's an undo option amazing um, just just for learning uh, but the big thing about the the sim here is that we have our piece and then our next two preview and uh, you can't do that in a chalkboard. So a lot of learning Poyo is learning how to strategize based on what you have coming up <clears throat> as well as you know, what you have on the field. Like yeah. you That's hard field for me too. Like, I can't right, do that in Tetris this either. Is, Watch the next preview. pieces. Well, it's going to be a while before you get through green so maybe you do something different. Um, and then additionally, I just have my chalkboard over here so I can theorize or whatnot. Uh, because when you're first starting off, you probably don't have a really good job, uh, grasp at imagining all of these. So my goal here is just to kind of show you uh, an example of it doing all these processes in an environment. Uh, Thrasher, thank you for the... 34 month resub and Conair so on DVD. Thank you for the eight month replicate the resub that I'm doing. <laughs> get an understanding of how stairs works and then go do it in an actual match. Okay, so the first thing is um, when we're looking at this Geosites simulation, uh, we have our active piece and then our two piece preview. 
Now, when the match starts, actually, we only have these two in the preview, and we don't get this one yet. So, uh, when you're actually planning out and you're, you're starting around, you can kind of plan from these two, and then this is a third bit of information you gain after. Um, and then going forward, you have your two previews, and then the P's that you generally are probably already actively placing. All right, so we're looking out. We're going to start the match. We only have the double yellows and the double blues. <coughs> this one comes after. Where do we want to do this? So I could start on the left or I could start on the right. Um, kind of preference. Uh, when I build stairs, I actually start transition first. We're not talking about transitions. So it's hard for me to say what's the best way to do this because uh, I honestly don't know. So I'm just going to pick one. That that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're just gonna pick one. I'm gonna start on the wall, yellows, and then blues. Okay. So when the the round starts, you, this deuces. one's gonna be on its way, and then we have this third piece of knowledge. There is puzzle the blue mode, red yeah. that we can then start thinking about. So before this yellow hits the ground, um, I'm gonna have the the blue blue and the blue red in the queue, and what I'm thinking. That's, that's, that's what I would have done too. Good way to stack for building a stairs chain, right? Like it's just going to blow on the blues and then we've got our reds here that are going to be our next link. All right, so let's go ahead and throw this double yellow down. Now <laughs> up next, uh, we got a blue green. Uh -oh. Blue green doesn't really have a ideal place to go. So I'm, I'm not going to declare absolute but I'm thinking, you know, something like this, throw these over here. If, you know, we get the right pieces, we can just flow it naturally into our next links and that'll be no big deal. Um, direction on these doesn't matter. We don't necessarily have to have these here, right? Like the green can be over here even. Um, I, like I said, we're trying to keep, keep column one clear just to fit the form, but we, we do have space, right? Like. If I got two greens here, well, it's cause you blue chain, I can still fire it. That's how you play Tetris as well. You have to so, look ahead, or else. Not, not the. Why would they bother showing you what's next if you're not going to use it? But it'll work. So let's go ahead and throw down our next one and see. You know, reevaluate where uh, that blue green's going to go. Cause I, I'm happy with the blue red, but. Mm, so now we've got a blue green and a green yellow. Um, it's kind of interesting. We've got two options. I could force the green. So if I did a green yellow like this, this is no longer going to be an ideal stair chain. Um, or the other option would be to work on the yellows on the tail. Now, um, not a huge fan of that because uh, I think these greens are more important, but yeah, that's an option. Uh, but it's also two pieces out. Um, I'm going to say for now, this is probably the, the place I'm going to put it, but we can change our mind. So we, we're now placing this blue red. And we have the green blue coming up. We'll have the green yellow. And then the yellow blue. We're not getting very many reds, um, which is making me not happy about this red. No, piece I have here. two pieces. Look ahead. <laughs> But we can work with it. It'd be all right. Um, uh, the Chloe thing is, Small, this thank you for the eight coming month down. Reset with Prime so Gaming five in a row. I've got to commit to that, or I've got to really quickly change my mind and do something different. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and commit to that. I drew that out, and we're out of time thinking about it. So we're doing the the green blue there. Now, the next question is, do I like this uh, green yellow here? And followed up with the the next blue yellow. Um, oops. Like I could do something like this or I could throw it over here and just kind of ignore it for now. Um, I do like that the, since we've got a blue and a yellow here, we're going to get another one and it's going to help us for 
Yeah, being able to fire this link over here. Whatever it turns into, it's gonna look like a monster. That's no big deal. So let's go ahead and just slap that down. Boom. And then we got a blue green to follow it up, um, which is interesting. All right, so this is making me feel a lot better about this. So we're gonna do something really gross looking here, but we're gonna do this and it's gonna be all right because we're only trying to make a five chain. We're still not getting any reds, so I'm concerned about this link here, but it's no big deal. So we're just gonna slap this down. Trust me, it's gonna work, probably. Um, so I, I went fast through that just cause I saw those blues coming up and again, was not very happy about what I was seeing. But it'll be alright. So, uh, I'll probably just throw the blues up here and then do a yellow blue. And the reason for that is because we've got too many blues and there was nowhere good to put them. Um, th there was some options, but uh, screw it. This is just what I'm going to do. It's, it's going to look ugly, but we're going to make a 5 chain. That's all that matters, right? Boom. So, 5 chain. See, it's wild how away. different this looks oh, from gosh, the. No reds. Brutal. Ideal setup. So, holy crap! No reds. Brutal. All right. So, uh, so we've got our our yellow blue that's active here. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this next blue yellow here. Um, and I'm I gonna need more than reds. thirty Screw seconds. It. And we're going the green here. And we're going yellow here. And the goal is to get a chain that looks like this. It's going to look ugly, but it doesn't matter. Um, so, boom. Putting that guy there. Put, oh, boo, that was that was generous. All right. So, I, I said I was going to put this green yellow here. Uh, in reality, I'm going to put this green yellow here. And then we're going to do a double yellow here. Piece order. Slide optimization. Uh, yeah, that's thinking smart. Oh, my gosh. It took forever to... All right, so this is actually really awesome though, uh, because we got our double yellows, we got a yellow blue, and then we got a blue red trigger. And so this is gonna be our functional five chain. One, two, three, four, five. So the red, I just had to give up on it. it didn't matter. These yellows were awkward, didn't matter. Oh man, I'm very lost. Just gotta get enough oh, no. to, to fire one of these and uh, repair this in the middle. So let's go ahead and actually finish this. So we're in our match, we throw that down, and we're like, hey, five chains my max, time to go. So there you have it, five chain, and five chains win. You don't even have to have five chains to win, but five chains send two rocks. Two rocks is uh, more than one screen worth of garbage, so if you hit your opponent with two rocks, they're going to lose unless they respond. But you're only making five chains, so like, eh. The banter aspect of Poyo is to come later. Just learn how to chain for now. So I'm going to do that again. Hopefully we're going to get better RNG this time. Because uh, we're going to be trying to build the stairs for him again. Um, I wasn't really too happy with how that... The double yellow was working for me in the corner there. So let's do something different this time. Let's start with the double blue. Well, I mean, getting attacked the by the computer, you can't. Inside out. I like that idea. You can't and then do let's that. Say like it's... That the green red can do something like this, maybe. Uh, again, when you're first starting off, you only have your first two sets. So we got the double blues and the red it's and the It's different green. every single time. Only the double blues are, you know. Manipulatable in game will the reds fill the queue and we'll be able to build from there or plan from there But just starting off um, I could do something like this um, Yeah, I think that'll work why not So let's go ahead first piece goes down we got uh, well Actually before before the first piece even goes down The the reds show up so I'm thinking great. We're gonna just do you know, our link is forming, right? Um, and then we'll go from there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go forward with that. Um, the next thing is we go to blue-yellow. I can throw the blue-yellow on here. That's gonna work out well. 
Um, so let's throw the next piece down. It seems like and in the ideal, yellow, like, which well, also you, works ideal out. scenarios, out these split, towers of three, but, um, you know, but the yellow's filling doesn't the yellow always cube, work. The red completes the red link. Yay. Plus in my game, there's also a purple color. So let's just color. keep going with that. Uh, we got another red yellow and, uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw this yellow in here. You could throw the red up here or throw the red down here. Um, I'm going to throw the red down here. But you may want to throw it up here. Actually, screw it. You're throwing the red up here. And the reason for that is because if your opponent sends you garbage, that's one less you know row here that they'll have to fill before you won't be able to access your like your yellow. Okay, so in the actual game, next piece goes down, and then we get a green blue. Excellent. So I'm gonna throw the green on the end here, and then we'll throw the blue in the next column. That's that's the plan. So here, this one was supposed to go here. Uh, we got a blue yellow um, this is gonna look ugly ugly is okay so we're gonna throw the double blue here now what that means is um, I'm gonna have to put more blues into the column five here and so right like two blues to two blues that's four um, and so yeah, yeah the computer big gets that's through my garbage all the time not as clean as the thing above my head <clears throat> but hey I don't care it's gonna work so we're gonna throw our next piece down. We have the green blues right there, the blue yellow there, and then we got a yellow green. Uh, where do I wanna put the yellow green? So I've got two options. I could put the yellow green here like this, or I could put the yellow green here like this. Uh, in actuality, I would probably do something different than what I have sketched up, but for simplicity purposes, <coughs> we're just gonna go with you know green in column five, yellow in column six just keeps things organized all right so in the actual game putting that piece down we have our blue yellow our yellow green planned out so then blue reds so we still need a blue in column two to you know connect on here but uh we need more blues out here and um, since that blue's attached to our red we've already got a little bit of a risk factor too many reds here this could pop prematurely so I'm gonna do blue, red, here, like that. So again, this guy is coming out here. The yellow green is gonna come here. Um, yellow, yellow. We got double yellows coming up. Um, the only real good place to put them is gonna be right here, which is interesting. So this chain has taken a unique direction. Um, blue is no longer the primary link here. Yellow is the primary link. So let me show you this in action. Yellow, it fires next, right? Greens to yellows. And that just kind of happened, right? This this isn't like a perfectly clean, you know, if you put a blue up here afterwards, right? Like uh, that's still gonna connect back down. Um, but you, know, you don't have to match the forms identically in the game. You just gotta make something that works. And the big thing here is um, being able to see what can work, and that's what the, the chalkboard's for, before you do it over in the game. And so, you know, this is like, this is what's supposed to happen in your head, and uh, this is what's going on on the field. All right, so we've got the green, yellow, blue, red, and then the double yellows planned out. And I'm really happy where all that's going. Uh, we got more double yellows. Uh, not so happy about that. You want to see so, it in game? Well, um, I I'm, I'm going to avoid stacking column three executing. again. Column three will kill you if you top out. I'm just going to throw it over here. Oh, wait, hold on. That blue's that blue was a lie. So it's going right there. Um, another option would have been to pop these yellows. That's an okay option because then you would start using the blues again or the yellows depending on what's coming up next. But I'm going to retain the, the yellows for now. All right, so we got double reds, double red. We need a green and a blue before we can fire this chain. Um, so I'm just going to throw the reds over here just for the sake of having connected reds. Why not? So now we got a blue yellow. I'm going to definitely throw this guy over here and that's going to connect my blue chain. Or blue you link. get to uh, just need the green link 
here to uh, finish the chain. Oh, this is really convenient. So first you off, get we got our to, green. Uh, the question is, where do we put the blue? You get a lot so of time in this here, mode, at least powers, for your move. Right? So like, me, the pieces uh, fall slowly. Just uh, clear that and show you. All right, here we go. So the green comes down, and then the blues right here, we're going to have four blues, ignore this, and then the yellows are going to connect. So we have a power blue and yellow. Now, the question is, is that preferred? So we're going to draw these reds back in place, blues back in place. Uh, from here, uh, and the answer is no. Uh, having these greens and these, or these blues and these yellows power is not preferred. In fact, we're going to put the green here and split the blue up here. The reason for that is that um, the way the math works out, if you have five Poyos in your groups that are powering, uh, then it's better to have them power. But if you only have four Poyos, it's better to have individual links. It's pretty minor, but just trust me on that one. It's like any this game, if you is better than having know the solution, like you, ultimately it doesn't really matter. You're just trying to make a five chain. It's muscle memory. Uh, so back it doesn't to the matter board, if you get attacked. So the red's down, and we got yellows. So the last yellows are going to go over here, and we're going to trigger them. So I'm not going to really math out anything after that. We're just going to throw this stuff down and fire our five chain. Actually, it's a six chain. We got lucky. That little tail. Um, but in the end, that's how All that right. works. I've got this, guys. How do I share a video? That was the video by uh, Kane Apache. Very good at this game, as well as Crash Bandicoot. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, this is the frog. He does the, like, the column thing, you know, or whatever. You can actually beat this frog pretty easily. Oh god! What do I do? Yeah, we're uh... Alright. This guy's definitely not the ideal guy to try this. I mean, it would work if I was good at it, but... This guy, you can beat him really easy by just getting a quick two chain. What are these pieces, dude? This, I need to get past this guy because he's doing this stupid strat where he's going to get a giant chain.
I actually planned that one out. That was decent. Yeah, this is a strat you can do. It's like stacking one side. That's the strategy that this frog is doing. Like, you know, I guess you can tell that. God, I hate this guy. I <laughs> I can't plan anything because I, uh, the next person won't get, he's only going to get big combos like this. I need, I need to get out of this battle. What just happened? Okay. Alright. <laughs> now we actually have time to plan things out. Because the next person doesn't do that strat. I don't know that guy behind us. All right, let's do this. This is very odd. What's with all the blues? kind of it, right? That wasn't bad. <clears throat> like, that was that was half the plan, I think. The, the, like, left side got broken, but that was sort of it. That is the weird cutscene. Oh, <laughs> 
what are we doing? Oh god. Stop with the purple! Knock it off! Ugh. Panic. Yeah, everything's broken now. Rip. That was not a good move. I don't remember 2 plus 2. This is where we got to last time, so if we can get past this, we're improved. Or we got lucky. No! God! I guess that's not the end of the world, but... Dang it. God. Yeah, this is... oh god. And reset. <laughs> you wanna get wet tricks? That was a weird game. I get a blue right now. You know, if I can just get a blue. Look like a blue. It'd be real cool if you gave me a blue. I didn't see that. Oh, I think we're in there. Dude, we beat it! <clears throat> Alright, the video helped! I'm not doing it as good, but it's... I'm getting like half stairs, you know? Oh, got this guy. Oh yeah, so the story is everybody's so hot because some dude, uh, he, uh, he made the sun brighter. So everybody's like, really hot and uncomfortable. Oh 
god. What is two plus two? <laughs> That's how I feel when I'm just staring at the piece. I'm like, wait a second. How are you getting combos over there? You're cheating. to go there, man. Oh, that hurts. Yeah, you can continue as much as you want. I think you get a worse rating at the end or something, but I don't care about that. See, like, right there, I feel like that yellow messed with everything. I don't know. Maybe not. Oh, this is not... <laughs> the plan's not coming through here, guys. Oh shoot, what? <laughs> I guess I won. <laughs> I didn't, I have no clue what just happened. I was watching my side and my side only. <laughs> oh god, it's the bee. The story from what I can tell is some dude shot the sun with this ray that made it much hotter. And now everybody's really hot. You know, when you get really hot, you get angry. So they're all so angry. God, what are these pieces, man? Let's go! This video helped a lot. The strategy... Actually, yesterday I had no strategy. I was just... I was just playing. Dude, he killed the Puyo. It's so hard to watch the ones coming next. I can't do that in Tetris either. You should watch somebody good at this. Like, a lot of people stream the uh, Puyo Puyo Tetris game. It's pretty cool to see, like, the gigantic combos people get. I don't know that... well... I guess it's not the end of the world. Really wants me to use these red pieces. Like 
Like, it, it's enjoyable to watch. That game's weird, because it's like... It meant... It some, I don't know how it works. It seems like it's unbalanced. But it's like... People playing Puyo, Puyo, and Tetris against each other at the same time. Dude, we're, we're crushing it! do with this. Seems like the play is just move. Like I, I guarantee this wouldn't work on a higher difficulty. But I don't know. We're crushing it now. <laughs> yeah, this is currently on normal, which was default. I'm not a pro. Seriously, go watch some like high level matches. It's really cool. Like, it's a fun game to watch. Yeah, I like watching this a lot better than Tetris. It's just, it's so satisfying to see everything fall down. Tetris, the best you can do is four lines. Like, what do I do with this, man? God, oh my god, this is a disaster. I can't get over there now, though. I'm trying to get a purple! No! Oh, wait. A lot of noise coming from over there. Oh no! Help!
God, he's just constantly clearing stuff, man. Always clearing stuff, dude. God, why can't I be doing that? Kirby's avalanche is this. See, like, I don't know what to do when that happens. It's just. Good. He has no junk on his side. Why did I think that would combo? Got him! Oh my god. You definitely don't have to be like super skilled at the game to beat this difficulty. Like I still am playing by the seat of my pants. But it's good enough.
Shokan. If the SNES could run this, I think there is Puyo Puyo on the SNES. Actually, I think it's on that Switch Online app. God, well... Shoot, now I can't. Get wrecked? What? He hardly got wrecked at all. Yes, dude! We did it! <clears throat> I am totally... Wait, what? Who's this? What? This isn't supposed to happen? God. I thought that would do a lot more than what it just did. Yo, bring on your additional challenger. Let's go. <laughs> it wasn't th that wasn't there on beginner difficulty. Carby. Yeah, I think I want to play through the hard mode on beginner difficulty to see if the story's different, because these cutscenes are hilarious. <laughs> I lost a multiple of seven. Oh, really? So if you lose like seven, fourteen, twenty-one. I will forget. It's a fun game. It's hard. Carbuncle. Carb uncle. The uncle who eats a lot of pasta. Well, we had a four chain. I think that was the one where I got lucky, like at the very beginning. We beat the game. 
I do want to check out the hard story. I'm gonna put it on beginner though, to see if um. To see if... What am I seeing? Oh, to see if there's more story. Uh, that's Kane of Pachi. He's in the chat. I don't think I've seen him stream it in a while, but he plays uh, Puyo Puyo Tetris. Really, he's really good at it. Also, speed. He's mostly a speedrunner, though. Papa. The heck? <laughs> oh, apparently there's speed run with Puyo Puyo Tetris. I see a GDP run of it. Masters. Momo Mo. Chiyama. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Ash, thank you for gifting a send to Rainbow Papa 69. Cool, you've got talent. Next, challenge Shizo's story. quick let me show you guys this I found this when I was trying to watch tutorials last night you see this maybe if I do this <clears throat> this is the most satisfying thing I've ever seen But you can't hear it. I guess this is this is like a wider board. Maybe there's a wide mode or something. I don't know if it's a task. Even if it is, it would take a lot of planning to 
map this out. <laughs> there is a hair on the screen. I didn't notice that. Hang on, I need to fix this scene now. Hi there, welcome to my How to Play Pio Pio video. This video is made for beginners. Okay. Uh, okay, I want to take a quick break. And then I want to do... We're done. We've beaten this game, but I want to try the hard mode on beginner difficulty just so we can see more cutscenes. Uh, so... Be right back. So we made our own one. <laughs> Yay, now don't choke. Yay! That took way too long. Oh my god, I was getting wrecked. I've watched a lot of people play it. I, I don't have an interest in playing it. I don't like the cape. Well, if you go bald, it obviously doesn't keep growing, but if you don't, then it does. I feel like that went without saying. Oh, I thought I was dead, I guess. Wait, I can just do this. GG. What? Wait, did I get it or not? Oh. <laughs> I was about to say, I definitely touched that rail. I'm gonna die. Fish is gonna fall on my head. Alright. Strat works really well. Please. Yes, finally. Oh my gosh. 
It took so long. I got to the end like so early on and just couldn't clutch it. All right, guys, say hi. Not bad anymore. Let's go. Did any of y'all watch that, uh, it was some RPG on the Game Gear, Omni Gamer did a run of it at this past AGDQ, that was really interesting. Hey, we in there? Nice. Dude, sick level Dotto. Dude, this was ages ago, Thor. Speedrunning didn't really exist back then. Drops and eliminates magnetic fields stored on tapes and disk media, removing data from devices like your hard drives. The degaussing process changes the magnetic domain where data is stored, and this shift in domain makes data unreadable and unable to be recovered. And now you know. And now you have the battle. Nice! That was a sick ending. It was really cool. Sorry, my parents are already home. I didn't think they'd be home for like a really long time. But we beat it. No, nigh. Zero nighs. So we're gonna do the, uh, set it back to beginner difficulty. No, not master. <clears throat> and do the story, the hard mode, because I want to see more cutscenes. Differently than it did. 
God, look how easy the game is on beginner. Look how slow they're going, too. <laughs> you want to see it for one level? All right, we'll do that. <laughs> what is this storyline? I don't really need to make combos on this difficulty. Oh, I should have done it a different way than what I did. No, she was the one who did it, not this guy. The music's good too, yeah. No oh god, the <laughs> He doesn't feel that?
Oh, he's not dead. Why, why is this guy obsessed with that? I don't understand. Who wrote this story? <laughs> Whoa, the pieces are falling fast. That did not happen on... is this guy. Shoot. Hard to do it when it's this fast. <laughs> Hello, spicy yellow tail roll. Thousand degree red hot knife versus guy's hair. Uh, Miguel, thank you for the 31 month resub with Prime Gaming. I appreciate it. That couldn't have been worse. 
Oh, shoot. Carb Uncle. God, it's fast. Good God. Oh shoot, I can't handle this at this speed. I'm gonna lose on beginner. God, it's so fast, man. I guess it was the ending. No, he broke his. He used that orb to make the sun hotter. We already saw that. <clears throat> Alright, real quick, we'll try one match on Master Difficulty. And then we'll be done. surprised. It's like they're playing the same, it's just I send way less attacks to them. <laughs> I think that's what's happening.
Okay. <clears throat> Hi, honey. So I think it's just... I think they play the same. It's just... Oh god, look at him go. Definitely harder. <clears throat> Beautiful. Alrighty. I am calling this game beaten. We uh we beat it on the default difficulty. Not bad. I thought this would take way longer, but I it wasn't super hard to beat, like I feel like even normal difficulty was toned down a bit. I definitely don't understand this game like fully, but it was enough to beat this game. <laughs> um, yeah, this game's pretty good. Um, for what it is, like it's a Puyo Puyo game, like if you enjoy that, it has puzzle mode, endless mode, uh, the story mode, you can multiplayer, like it runs well, it doesn't lag at all, graphics look nice, the music's cool, the cutscenes are hilarious, uh, it's pretty good. <laughs> Um, me personally, these ratings are me personally, like, I had fun with it. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Like, in the end it's Puyo Puyo, but this game's very well done, like, it's, uh, <clears throat> there's nothing wrong with it, like, the only thing is, do you like this or not? Like, I, there's nothing wrong with this, really. Difficulty? It was tough for me. Nowhere near Dr. Mario. I'll give it like a... Uh, like a 5 out of 10. Difficulty. It was challenging, but not like crazy hard, you know? Uh, okay. So we are currently on a journey to beating every N64 game ever released. And uh, whenever we beat a game, we pick the game that's next. And the way we do it is randomly selected off of this list. Uh, you can see Puyo Puyo, um, Puyo Puyo, uh, Sun was right here, now it's not. <clears throat> there are 315 on the list. Who knows what we'll play next? Could be anything. Three, two, one, go! 30! That's way down the list, what is that? Oh, shoot. Okay. A lot of people have been waiting for this one. We are playing Beetle Adventure Racing. Uh, so this game was reskinned, and it's a, a, a separate official release in Australia called HSV Adventure Racing. So what we're going to be doing is beating both of these back to back because it's the exact same game. It just looks different, but we have to do it because it is one of the separate releases. But um, yeah, it should be exciting. <clears throat> 